Bronchiectasis is a respiratory disease that makes it difficult to clear mucus from the lungs due to damaged airways. As a respiratory therapist or medical professional, it's a condition that you must be familiar with. We created this quick video to help. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Bronchiectasis is an obstructive condition that causes irreversible destruction to the bronchial walls of the airways of the lungs that results in an accumulation of copious amounts of bronchial secretions. The most common causes of bronchiectasis include the following. Smoking tobacco or cigarettes, cystic fibrosis, lung infections, autoimmune disorders, congenital disorders, and a foreign body obstruction. You should note that most cases of bronchiectasis stem from cystic fibrosis. Now let's talk about the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of bronchiectasis can vary in severity from person to person. Here are some of the most common examples. The patient may have a chronic cough, large amounts of green or yellow sputum, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest pain, coughing up blood, atelectasis, and core pulmonality. Keep in mind that there may be other signs and symptoms of bronchiectasis. These are just a few of the most common examples. So how is bronchiectasis diagnosed? There are several things to look at when diagnosing a patient with bronchiectasis. Here are some of the most common examples. You will need to look at their CT scan, immunoglobulin levels, sputum culture, pulmonary function test, and a complete blood count. The physician may recommend a sweat chloride test if cystic fibrosis is suspected. So now let's talk about the treatment methods. Ideally, it's best to strive to prevent bronchiectasis. However, it can be managed by taking a comprehensive approach. Here are some of the general methods for treatment and management. Airway clearance therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, bronchodilators, antibiotics, mucolytics, chest physiotherapy, pulmonary rehab, oxygen therapy, and vaccinations. Again, Patients with bronchiectasis are treated on a case-by-case -case basis, and the methods can vary depending on the severity of their symptoms. We wanted to create this quick video to give you a brief overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.